Art. I'm Laura Madden. This is the Refashion Art Happy Hour Art Show. I've been doing these for a couple months now, but tonight's going to be a little bit different. I've been doing more like home art tours slash art auction as we did a couple weeks where we were just exclusively showing paintings that I was donating to raise money for the Black Lives Matter movement. So five of those have sold. I do still have five left. So if you're interested in any of those paintings, please reach out to me, let me know. And with all of the donation paintings, um, we're not actually gonna see any of those tonight, but with all the donation paintings, I am matching, oh, those are name your price, by the way, which is amazing. Name your price and I will match and donate 100%. So five of those are left. So if you want any of those, please, send me a DM and I will send you photos, videos, whatever you like, we can FaceTime, whatever you like. So tonight, it's gonna be, again, a little different. It's gonna be strictly an art show. So here's the deal, I've been doing this now. <laughs> so Refashioned Art has officially turned one. This week, last year, I made the decision to, to really go for it and to really pursue my art professionally. I decided to brand the art as refashioned art because everything is upcycled and made using repurposed materials. And I decided that, you know, this was something I just, I had to do. I just couldn't let pass me by. Started the Instagram at refashioned art. If you're not following me over there, please, 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 Head over there after the recording, and I would love your support. I would love your follow. I'm really trying to grow that Instagram. For now, I am broadcasting from I Am Laura Madden just because I have more followers here. So, as soon as I can build up the Refashioned Art Instagram, I'll be doing more of my lives from there. So, it has been just a year. I have a pretty huge inventory, and I work here out of my home studio. So, at the moment, I have about 125 paintings that are ready to go, ready to hang, and are for sale. So, pretty huge inventory. I've been busy. The problem is I really need to create some space. Like I said, I work here out of my home studio, and so everything is stored here, and we're at the point where for me to create more, for me to build on this and grow this, I really need to move some inventory. So the pieces we're gonna to see tonight, there's a select grouping that I'll be showing, and these are available at a discounted price compared to what you're seeing on the website. So again, I really wanna move these paintings, so if there's anything that you like, please DM me after the broadcast and just let me know. And we can always talk about a price if the price is not right for you. Another thing that's exciting I want to share, my portfolio page is finally up on my website. I hope you will check that out at a later time. It's IamLauraMadden.com forward slash art. So all my paintings are on there. I have 160 paintings that I've completed in this time that are on the portfolio page. So I hope you will check it out. A number of those have sold, but like I said, it's about 125 pieces that I still have available for sale. Now, my lovely husband is here behind the camera, so kindly filming if you have a question. He is going to be watching the comments and the questions. Feel free to use that question mark button at the bottom of the screen. That's probably the easiest way for us to see um, if you do have a question that you want me to address. Um, so add any questions, comments, nothing. Okay, so I think we're gonna get started. So again, oh, the prices that I'm sharing tonight, those are good just for this evening. So those will expire midnight Pacific Standard Time. So tonight, and um, after that, the prices will go back to whatever you see on the website. So again, everything you're seeing tonight, I'm offering for a discounted price, and I think we are ready to get started. Oh, let me know what you're drinking. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, I was really, really excited about some bubbles. Usually on Fridays, I am. So tonight I'm drinking Moe. I love it. Really wanna know what you're drinking at home. Like I said, cocktail attire is not mandatory for you. But this is a happy hour, 
So a drink is, even if it's a mocktail, you must have something good. So let us know what you're drinking, we'd love to know. And um, what are you drinking? So this is Moet. Moet, champagne. Yeah, Moet, one of my favorites. Simple, 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 simple. You know, I'm just like a simple person. But um, so I did want to just address, this painting is not for sale. I always start here. Uh, this is my favorite painting ever. This is called Presence. I did this when we were living in California. I did it for our, um, to go above our fireplace in California. And this really started me off on this path, to be very honest. When I did this painting, um, I brought it to a framer. And when I saw the painting in the frame, I just realized, like, I just had this aha moment that, you know, any painting can be transformed in any way you want it depending on how you frame it. It is a beautiful finishing piece. So just like with your fashion, you know, it is like the finishing piece, the topper, the jewelry, the statement, whatever, the framing can sometimes make all the difference. The dog always goes nuts here. He just loves it. He just, at this time, doesn't he always do it when I'm standing right here? He loves it. And then here, and guys, so if you don't know, our rescues, Luce, the male, and Blanca, the female, um, she's our newest rescue, but um, only rescues in this house, and we, they are great dogs. So, anyway, I'm not gonna go on about that. So anyway, this one is not for sale, but I get a lot of comments about this. I want you to know that I can make paintings similar to this. I do have some available similar to this. They are on my website if you wanna take a look. They are unframed, but again, if we have a frame like this, it will transform the look. It will transform the look. And I want to tell the story again, because I told it before, but the man that um, framed this, he died just a month after he framed this, and he really influenced me, and he tried to influence me um, to encourage me to pursue my art. I didn't get it. I didn't hear it then. That was years ago, but um, finally heard it now. So here we are. Okay, so I will just say one thing about these, because I also get a lot of comments about these. I actually did these a very long time ago, when we were living in Arizona the first time. These are actually not for sale, but I want to show you them because, um, again, style that I do, I could do something like this if you like these. Also, I have these framed, love the frames, and I just want to point out how the frame can change everything. It really brought these to life, and these were actually a surprise gift for my husband, and again, I did them when we were living here in Arizona the first time. I don't even know, 2009 maybe? I think maybe 2009. But um, so, yes. So the, that, that was one of, that was, that was why I started doing art, just to, you know, create uh, or make decor for our homes. And uh, so for a long time, that was the only reason I made art, just out of necessity to fill a wall. Um, and those were some of the early pieces that I still have kept today. I never painted over those. Okay, so a few that are part of this evening. So this is the Lunar Ray series. These are small 11 by 14 inches unframed canvases. But again, these could be beautifully framed. So Ed, I just wanted to show them this right here. This gold, something happened over there? No. Question? Okay. All right, so I love this gold floater. These thin frames are the floaters. So just think of what these would look like in a thin floater frame. So these are small enough, it would be very inexpensive, but just imagine all of these in that thin, like, um, it's almost like a bronzy gold, kind of like an antique gold frame, would transform it. Tempted to do it, because I am really liking these here. I don't know, who knows, maybe I will. But for the time being, these are for sale. They were originally $40 each, so tonight, $25 each. Um, if somebody wants all three, $60 for all three. Steel. Again, 11 by 14, unframed canvas, easily framed, would very inexpensively be framed. And so this is Lunar Rays 1, Lunar Rays 2, and Lunar Rays 3. So again, let me know if you have any questions. These are not wired to hang. I'm just hanging them on the canvas frame on the, on the interior, on the back side, and they hang just fine. Um, but yeah, so let's move on. So that's the Lunar Ray series. And so tonight was all about black and white. I shared that, um, I shared that on my feed. Tonight was all about black and white. And um, my dress. Oh, I was going to talk about that. 
<laughs> the dress, well, this dress was a Goodwill find. And um, I've been very open about my love for Goodwill and I work with Goodwill in a lot of projects. This was actually a find from their dollar day sale. They do this amazing sale on Thursdays where um, I think it's a certain tag. I haven't been shopping in so long, but I think a certain tag is a dollar. And so this was one of those finds. One dollar for this gorgeous dress and you know, what are the chances it fits perfectly? And so tonight, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of designer collaborations and there will be more of those, but tonight I just wanted to go with a simple party dress and I've actually only worn this for a photo shoot. So this dress really needed some love. It really needed some love. So finally I'm wearing it, just a simple party dress, but I mean, it's just like perfecto. One dollar, love the sequence. Um, the shoes I've had for eternity, they are Stuart Weitzman, um, and you don't have to show too much of those. I mean, literally, I've had them for eternity. And so then just, you know, I love wearing exaggerated bracelets. Again, had these for eternity rings. Um, this is a new piece, uh, kind of like a hand-me-down from a friend who is going to throw it out. So that's what I'm wearing tonight, and I love it. Perfect for a Friday night happy hour. Okay, so let's start right here. So, let me see here. Got everything here so I won't forget. Oh, by the way, my little logo, I painted this last summer. Would love to know your thoughts on it. A few people have asked me if I'm selling it or if I would sell a print. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing limited editions because I do love it, it's adorable. But this is my logo, and again, so this was um, just one year ago, I made this and just decided this is going to be the brand. Everything, again, is upcycled, made using repurposed materials, and I feel really strong about this. I feel very committed to doing upcycling. It's not to say that at some point, maybe I'll do commissions, maybe I will do something that's not made using repurposed materials. Maybe never say never but at this point it's really important to do something to again just you know create that conversation around combining sustainability and style and like just having that conversation around how we can create a stylish lifestyle for ourselves while also doing good for the planet reducing waste conserving resources and um i think upcycling and repurposing is a great way to do it and i'm having a lot of fun so Number one, this one here is Jagged, which one? This is Jagged 2. So this one is spray paint and acrylic on canvas. This is wired to hang from this position. Of course, it can be wired to hang from other um, sides if you prefer that. We can always do that, of course. Um, I love this one. This one was actually done last summer. Again, this is Jagged two or jagged one i know if i screw it up jagged this is jagged two so again spray paint and acrylic on canvas just want to give you the dimensions um it is 30 inches by 30 inches a perfect square and this one is 125 dollars so i originally had this listed if you go on my website you will see this there for 200 dollars. so tomorrow morning it will be back to 200 dollars but um, if someone is interested in this tonight, it's $125, it's a steal. I know my art is underpriced anyway, but I really, um, you know, I'm just trying to build my brand and, you know, just build a following and get my art into as many people's home and workspaces as I can. So I'm gonna hold it up one more time. This was originally a find from Goodwill. So you might see some of the details from the underneath. Usually I will completely cover a piece of art when I'm doing it, but sometimes I will leave a little bit of the underneath showing. You'll see some of these details right here that was there before. Um, it doesn't exactly make my life easier, but <laughs> it makes for a great conversation and it's a lot more fun. Okay, so next up, we've got Moonwalk. So I did do a series of four of these. All are slightly different. Um, of course, all are originals. So nothing is exactly the same. And um, I should have mentioned that earlier, but everything you see on my website, all originals. At this moment, there are no prints. So you're getting an original piece of artwork. And again, made using repurposed materials. So your purchase is helping to create a healthier and cleaner planet. 
and um, you're supporting a supporting emerging artist. So four of these, but tonight I'm just showing two. So this is Moonwalk One mixed media on canvas, 24 inches by 24 inches. So both of these are Moonwalks. Both are 24 inches by 24 inch canvases, unframed. Again, these would be amazing framed, like totally amazing. These are $75 each. These are not wired to hang. I've had them hanging in my home actually in a hallway just from the underframe on the back side, and it works perfectly. But of course, these can be wired to hang any way that you desire. It is a perfect square. So again, originally these are $90, but tonight they are $75 each. If somebody wants all four, um, I will work with you on price if you wanted to take them off my hands. We can talk about that. This is Moonwalk 2. So again, it's not exactly the same. There's a little bit more color. I have some blues. I have some golds. I have some bronze. There's a little bit of silver hidden under there. But the Moonwalk series was meant to be obviously a play on the moon. So a lot of white, a lot of texture, um, some like bumps and bruises, but this is Moonwalk 2. So again, these are all the same size. And like I said, there are four of those. You can find those all on my website, imlauramadden.com forward slash art. All are the same size, 24 inches by 24 inches. And excuse this setup, I know it doesn't look amazing. Um, I do not put paintings on the floor, so that's why they're padded. But unfortunately, I don't have the wall space to hang all of these, so tonight, this is it. Okay, so the next one is Esty. Now, Esty, she was actually featured in, um, she was in an exhibit last December at Nine the Gallery, which is a great gallery here in Phoenix. And her and her sister, Kareen, were both part of the exhibit. Kareen did sell. Esty is still available. So, this is acrylic on paper. This is framed without glass, which I love. So it's super light, super light. It is wired to hang. And this also comes with a ribbon. I left it on there because it is really cute. I think it'd be beautiful for a kid's room or a bathroom. Um, it just makes it a little bit more feminine, but of course that can come off. So this is Esky. Again, her sister has sold. This is 12 inches by 12 inches. This was originally $75, and tonight it is for sale for $45. Again, wire to hang with a ribbon as another option as well. If somebody likes that, it's not my style, but I do think it's very precious, and I love how it just brings a little more elegance and femininity if that is your style, so I just thought I would, have, I would leave that on there. It was part of the original piece. So again, this one. $45. Amazing. Amazing. So if you have questions, let me know. Any questions? No, nothing. Anybody share cocktail of the evening? No one shared, really. Okay. No one wants to share. Okay. All right. So next is Desi. Um, as you can see, I love doing the faces. I've done a number of these faces. So Desi, this one I did in the winter. No, actually, I'm sorry, I did this one November, so more fall. So Desi is acrylic on paper. This is custom framed, and this is framed in glass. This was framed at Frame and Works in Phoenix. It's the framer that I use, and this one is 18.5 by 22.5 inches. 18.5 by 22.5 inches. This is Desi. So, I like Esty. Do you have her sister? No, James, she sold. She is long gone. But we have just one. We have just one, just one left. She could be yours, $45, she could be yours. Um, so this one, 125 tonight, originally $200. So 125 framed in glass, wired to hang. So again, $125, wired to hang. Dead Z. 
Desi, and if anybody needs the measurements again, just let me know. Okay, so what do we get next? Not selling a logo. Um, which way do we go? Let's go to here. When I do teak, so this one is part of this evening's lineup. You've seen them before. This is Zeke. Very special piece. So this was originally a piece from Goodwill. I did completely paint over it. Um, so it's kind of an unusual size canvas, but notice how I have this little nook. Now my husband really wants to just cover this uh, fireplace with art and things. I'm not gonna put anything on the fireplace, but I love having something off center over here. So if you have an awkward space in your home, like a thin spot, a hallway, or just a thin little wall, a nook, something like this, this is the perfect piece. And I love this here, I love how it fills the space. But nothing is going on my fireplace. So Zeke is acrylic on canvas, and this is 16 inches by 48 inches. 16 inches by 48 inches, and this one is $125. It was originally $200. Zeke, strong. I love this guy, but he's for sale. $125. All right, so we're gonna go over here to reimagine. We have a big piece. Hey, stop doing that. She's trying to build a, a bed. <laughs> okay, so this is reimagined. I love this piece. This is on a wood panel, very thin, so it, there's not too much weight to it, but this is a compressed wood panel. So this one is reimagined mixed media on wood panel. This is 36 inches by 48 inches. 36 inches by 48 inches. So this is a pretty decent size. Also, I wanna point out, if I were keeping this in my home, I don't have a wall for it. We usually have a big red thing here and that probably will never go away. So I don't have a wall for it, but if I did, I would have this in a frame. This would be amazing, I think, in a thick black or white or thin gold frame. So just keep that in mind, it would be an amazing frame. So reimagine is $175. I know, a total steal for a painting this size. $175, normally this is $300. So that price expires at midnight, and you will see this on my website for $300. Uh, so after tonight, it will go back to $300. But for tonight, until midnight, $175. Again, it's wired to hang this uh, on the horizontal, but we could also hang it on the vertical. We could rewire it if you would rather it that way. And it also does look very cool that way over a mantle. We'd love that. Okay, so last in the lineup, 11 total, Jagged. So we saw Jagged 2, this is Jagged 1. I also did this one last summer, uh, last September. Jagged 1, again, spray paint and acrylic on canvas. And this one here is 35 inches by 35 inches. Again, a perfect square. So very cool. It's got a really nice depth on the side as well. It could go in a frame. It could go in a frame and that would also be amazing. And that would give it a little bit more girth if you have a bigger wall to fill. But again, jagged uh, one, 35 inches by 35 inches. So this is $150 tonight. I know, a total steal. $150, normally this one is $250. So tonight, $150. This is Jagged One, we also saw Jagged Two. They kind of would be cool next to each other, but also great on their own. And if you did want both, then we can talk about the price, a special price for both of them. So that is it. So 11 paintings total that are part of tonight's lineup. And again, we are cleansing space. We are creating space for new creations that are just like waiting to be birthed. So that is the reason for tonight's sale. Also kind of a celebration because the brand is officially one, which I'm really kind of proud of because the art world is a whole other planet that I'm really doing my best at, but it's just a whole other language. Um, next week, I am going to be back and we are going to do another art show similar to this. 
different pieces. Again, we might have different prices. I don't know. So guys, let me know if you have questions. Um, you can always DM me. Also, I would love for you to check out my website, IamLauraMadden.com. Um, if you want to see the art portfolio, just go to the art tab and everything is right there. Again, there's 160 pieces to look at. Some of those have sold. Everything is marked. Um, so it should be pretty straightforward. But if you are interested in purchasing, then I want you to just reach out to me via the website and we will go from there. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing summer um, in light of everything happening in our world. And I wanna thank you for stopping by, watching, joining, and playing, hopefully having a cocktail with us. I will be back next Friday, right, Ed? We'll be, ba we'll be back next Friday. Same time, same place. And um, I don't know. I really appreciate you being here. If you're not following on the Instagram, at Refashion Art, check it out. Definitely, we'd love your support there. And um, otherwise, that's it, everyone. Have a great night.